Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today, a tale of two Ticonderogas. So, these two were bought within the same week, just last week, as a matter of fact. And these are the standard Ticonderoga black number no. two HB pencils. One was purchased at Target, and this one was purchased at Walmart. Price was about the same. Target may have been a uh, few cents more. But uh, at first glance, the same pencil, the same package. However, on the back is where we see some differences. In particular, I'm going to zoom zoom in tight here because really where you see the difference is here at the bottom. Made in India, made in China. Now, the other thing is that where you see something different is here. So, this pencil, they both have the Pencil Manufacturers Association symbol, uh, stamp. This one is PF, PEFC certified. This one is not. So that probably is going to tell us perhaps the wood is different. Uh, because this certification indicates that it's from sustainably managed forests and controlled sources. This doesn't say that. Uh, and if it was, I would think it would say that, but it doesn't. Okay. You'll also see that this one still has the old uh, logo, the old Dixon logo. This one has the new Dixon logo. And uh, you can see the corporate offices have a different address. This one is Appleton, Wisconsin, and this one is Lake Mary, Florida. Um, so, also the website is different. Uh, they do have the Prang Power coupon on the back. So, obviously this one is an older package design because it still has the old logo and this one is newer. There's no dates on these packages in terms of copyright or anything like that. The message is the same up here uh, and everything else about the package is really the same. Uh, on the bottom they have the same um, I'm out of focus here. Same inventory number 13953. So that's all the same. Really, it's the, the 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 primary difference is in the um, certification on the wood and the place of manufacture. You kind of makes you wonder what's going on uh, with uh, Ticonderoga. Um, first, you know, they were making in Mexico. Then, and they might, they, I think they're still making some pencils in Mexico. Then they're making pencils in China. And now they're making pencils in India. I don't know if that means they're not making pencils in China anymore. It's kind of hard to know what's going on. Of course, we know, those of us who spend a little bit more time than normal in the pencil world understand that India is a very large center for pencil manufacturing and there's a number of large pencil manufacturers already in India. And so is Dixon now joining those manufacturers or is Dixon engaging with one of those manufacturers to make their pencils for them? We don't know. 
All we know is that these were made in China and these were made in India. Uh, and by looks, they are the same pencil. There's really, cosmetically, there's nothing different about these, these pencils uh, at all. Let me get one out here. So, um, not that not that you can tell just outwardly. Again, I I I'm, I'm suspecting that we're gonna come. I'm suspecting we're gonna see something different, uh, perhaps with the wood. But here are the two pencils. Um. Well, there is a little bit something different, and I think that comes out immediately. And that is that the Chinese pencil says Dixon, Ticonderoga. And the Indian pencil, the Indian made pencil, does not say Dixon. That is omitted. Uh, other than that, they're pretty much the same. I would say the HB number two looks a tad smaller um, than the one the Chinese made, Ticonderoga, black foil. Also, to my eye, the India Ticonderoga looks a bit more matte finish or flat. And the Chinese-made Ticonderoga appears to be a bit more gloss. The run numbers, which are imprinted here uh, into, are different, of course. They have seemingly the same eraser, uh, same ferrule. We'll do a top-down here. There are the two pencils. So, the China made pencil looks a bit more centered than this Indian made pencil, at least to my eye. But uh, whether or not the wood is the same. We will sharpen and we will see, but there is definitely a change of foot because I can't imagine they're going to continue to make both pencils in both uh, coming out of two different factories. Why would they? So it looks like they have shifting um, perhaps manufacturing operations, at least on this pencil. Uh, and I haven't looked at the standard Ticonderoga, the, the, the yellow Ticonderoga, to know. But it looks like they're shifting things to India. So let me get things sharpened up and, and we'll, we'll see how they write. Okay, I've got them sharpened up. I put a, I put a little tag here on the one made in India just so I could know at a glance that which one is which but um, we've got them sharpened up and you know in terms of the wood on either pencil here it looks very similar to me uh, just from kind of smells the same um, looks the same so perhaps they're using the same type of wood. Uh, the only thing I can see, and it is very, very subtle, and I don't even know if the camera can pick it up, but the one made in India, which is on the top, is a bit, the wood itself, you see, is a little more porous and you can see it is less not that the one from the, the China made one is great um, and in some spots it looks just as rough 
but it does have some smooth. And these are just variations that I often exist in in wood anyway. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna subscribe too much concern to it. But overall, like I said, they look very similar. Let's start with the the one made in India. Okay, and here Okay, first impressions, um, I think the uh, India made Ticonderoga is less scratchy a bit. I want to put the the China made Ticonderoga feels a bit firmer to me a bit uh, the graphite has a little bit more of a hardness but if you want to look at the, the tone here sort of side by side they're very very similar um, and I don't know that I have a preference to, but the the China one uh, the China made Ticonderoga seems to more be more consistently dark than the India Ticonderoga. Um, if we look, we can see variations of darkness within the graphite. And I know part of it is how I'm writing, but I think you see fewer of those in the Chinese made Ticonderoga. Well, <laughs> sorry about that. I um, actually wrote with the chi China made Ticonderoga there on the Indian side. So let's do this. Okay, let's, um, let me keep it together here and let's just also do a 
smudge. And eraser test. You know, I remember when uh, Dixon was doing uh, Ticonderogas in Mexico and in China, and for a while, uh, I'm just talking about the standard ones, you could get both of them were on the market at the same time, sort of like now. And I always felt the China made ones, and I know a lot of people kind of felt the same way, had a better graphite than the Mexican made Ticonderogas. So here, uh, we're kind of in a, another situation where we're just sort of comparing the two. Um, so let's just look at the, let's see how we can smudge the, uh, lay it all the way, yeah. I'm going to Well, the the really the the smudge drags on both of them are almost identical. So but I still again looking I think that the the china made ones do appear to be while i think they're a little scratchier they also seem to be just a bit darker than the india made ticonderogas let's look at the eraser so we're gonna do some erasing here with the attached eraser We'll do India first. Okay. Now we'll try the China. Okay. Um, there might be more shadowing here on the China. Ticonderoga, which wouldn't surprise me because I do think it might be just a bit darker. Uh, let me try with a Pentel. Okay. I'll race as well. I have a Dixon Pink Carnation. So we'll keep it in the family here. Try this. All right. And let's try a foam. Okay. I um, really, for erasability, I'm going to give the India a B minus, and I'm going to give the China made a C or C plus.
Well, okay. The Chinese one is darker. The Indian, India made Ticonderoga is um, a bit smoother. The India made erases marginally better. The wood appears to be about the same. So I don't think the switch in manufacturing facilities has changed the pencil in a dramatic way, but it did has, at least in this comparison, has changed it in some very subtle ways. Uh, uh, in most notably, probably, the core. Um, and I would don't know where the core is being sourced from, but the uh, point retention on these two pencils sharpened at the same time also, I think, will tell us. The China-made pencil, which is here, felt a bit harder and I don't, I would say they wore probably about equally. Maybe, maybe the China one has still retained a little bit more of the core, but not much. So, there it is. A tale of two Dixon Ticonderoga black pencils. One from India, one from China. So, interesting, again, what's going on here with pencil manufacturing in our world. So, thank you for uh, hanging with me as we kind of compared and contrasted these two pencils. If you like what I do, please share, like, and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Always Analog.